What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Challenger Colt from Brawl Stars. Now when you get started in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start on the top left. And work our way down towards the bottom of the eye. And bring that back up towards the top. Now we're gonna leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same thing on the right. So we're gonna line up the top of the eye. Bring that down towards the same height. And pull that back up towards the top. Let's push the pupils towards the inside of the eye. We're starting on the left and draw an oval. Coming down, and then back up. Line this up on the right. And then we'll fill the pupils in black. Let's line up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center and draw the nose. We'll start on the left, curve the nose going down and then up. Now we move up and draw a short curve going up and down for the bridge of the nose. And then we'll shift the mouth over towards the right. In the center, we're going to step down, move over towards the left, go out and then bend that up. Now before we draw in the eyebrows, we're going to draw the hair coming down over the right side of the head. So let's start right in the middle. Start with a point, and then from here we're going to angle up and out towards the left with a straight line. And then from the left we're going to curve up, spin that down, aiming towards the right eye, come down at an angle, just going to round this out, and then pull that up. Let's go back to the center, angle up and out underneath the hair. Let's continue drawing the top of the hair. From this point, we're going to angle up and now towards the side of the head. And then from here, we're going to go up, around the top of the curl, and then come down on the right side. And then from here, we're just going to pull this down, round out the bottom, and just go up towards the tip. Let's add another point on the side. We're going to step up, go out, and then up. Pull that in and up in behind the side of the head. Let's add a little bit of texture along the inside. Start from the center, curve up and out with a short line. Go up on the left side, curve up and across. Let's move back down and draw on the eyebrows. We're going to start on top of the left eye, angle down and then in. Line this up on the right. Just going to go up underneath the hair. Let's round out the inside of the eyebrow. Just curling this back around and out. And then from the outside, I'm just going to curl this around and then in. And we'll flatten off the top with a straight line. Let's go back over towards the right and just tuck this up underneath the hair. Let's go back over towards the left side. I'm just going to angle down and out towards the side of the head. Come down towards the bottom. And we'll just curve down and in underneath the left eye. Let's line this up on the right side. Curve out and then up. And we'll angle up and in underneath the hair. And then from the inside, we're going to angle down and in towards the bottom of the head. Let's draw the top edge of the collar. I'm just going to line this up on the outside straight across towards the right and then out. And we'll flatten off the ends with a short line coming down towards the bottom. Let's come back to the collar after we finish drawing the rest of the head. We start from the top left, curve out and then down. And from here we'll curve down and then out. Let's pull that back in towards the side of the head. Come down and then bend that in. And then from the side of the head, we'll step out, curve the jaw coming down, and bend that in towards the top corner of the collar. Let's move over towards the right, step out, come straight down the side, curve down, and then in. Let's add that microphone on the left side. We'll start with an oval, all the way around, and back up. And then from the side, we'll angle up and out towards the side of the head. Step down and draw that twice. 
Let's go to the bottom of the hair on the left, draw a straight line going out, and then line this up on the right side. And then from here, it's gonna curve the headphone going out, and then in. And we'll pull that straight in towards the side of the head. Let's separate the edge of the headphone. From the top, step in, just follow that same curve, coming back down towards the bottom. Let's go to the top of the headphone on the right side, draw a straight line going up underneath the hair, and then from the top, we're just gonna curve this up and then in. I'm also gonna add some wrinkles on the side of the eye. Starting on the left, start with a short line going out, step down, and then angle down. Let's move to the inside of the collar and add the drawstrings. We're starting on the top left, start with a short line going across, line this up on the right. And then from the ends, we extend two straight lines coming down toward the bottom. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. And then we'll surround the top of the drawstring with a circle. Stepping down, go all the way around, and then back in. Let's connect the bottom of the collar with a curve. We're going to start on the left, curve down and in behind the drawstring. Then down the center and then back up and out on the right side. Let's go to the center, leaving a gap and draw two lines. One on the left and one on the right. Let's add that X in the center of the collar. Start on the top left, and down and across. Step down, draw that twice. Let's close off the top and the bottom. Now you want to take that and flip it over and in behind on the right. And down along the top, flatten off the ends, and then pull that up in behind. From the bottom corners of the collar, we're going to step in, draw the side of the body, and start on the left. Curve out and then down, and we'll close off the bottom. Coming down the middle, and then bending that back up. And then we'll add a thick stripe coming down the center, starting back on the left down and then on the right side we're going to step over and draw one more line. Let's add the word cold coming down the center of the body. We're going to start at the very top, start with a straight line, come down the side, flatten off the bottom and then we'll trace this out along the inside. Let's add the O. Going across the top, come down the sides, Close off the bottom, and it'll trace out the inside. Now let's add in the L. Cross, down, and then again, just tracing out the bottom. And then finally, we'll add the T. Cross, up, and down toward the bottom, and we'll trace out the bottom of the T. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we're going to step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down, leaving a gap in the center. Let's go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot coming down and up towards the outside of the foot. And then we'll go back to the left side and round out the top of the foot. And go up. So we're going to bend this down, aim towards the heel, stop right about there, and go up and in. Let's go to the top of the foot on the outside. Start with a straight line going up. And then from here, we're just going to curve up and then down on the inside. And then we'll move back up to the hips and tuck the legs in behind the boot. Starting on the left, curve out, and then down. Leave a little overlap along the outside. And now we're gonna add some detail to the boots. We're gonna start on the outside and draw the toe cap. Coming in, and then down. And then from the top of the foot, draw a straight line going up. Let's add a strap going across the outside. 
from the left and step up. Just trace that curve going across twice. And I'll trace this detail on the top. Going in and angling up. Let's add that pouch over on the left side. Halfway down the side of the leg, start with a straight line coming in. Pull that straight up underneath the body. And then from the inside of the pouch, we're just going to curve the belt going out and up on the right. Now we're going to simplify the detail inside the pouch. We're going to start right in the middle with a circle. And then on the left side, come straight in, continue along the inside, and then go up underneath the body. Now we're going to move up and draw the arms holding two pistols. We're going to start from the bottom of the collar, curve down, and then out towards the wrist on both sides. And then from the wrist, we're going to curl the thumb, going up and then down. Round up the tip of the thumb and then pull that back up. Let's draw an oval on the outside of the thumb. All the way around and then back in. And we'll tuck the last two fingers underneath. Starting at the bottom of the first finger, come down and then up underneath the thumb. Step down, draw that again. And around and then up. And we'll place the gun on top of the hand. Start from the top of the finger. Start with a straight line going out. Go up along the outside towards the top of the gun. And we'll pull that straight in on top of the thumb. And we'll pull it straight down towards the top of the thumb. Let's go to the outside. Start with two straight lines going out. Close off the end of the straight line. Now I'm going to draw the trigger around the index finger. Start with a straight line coming down, and pull that back in. Let's go back to the bottom of the thumb, and go down and in, and come straight down towards the bottom of the handle. Let's round up the bottom of the handle, and then pull that up underneath the bottom finger. Now we're going to add a little bit more detail. From the top corner, we're going to step in, a straight line coming down, and pull that back in towards the inside. And on the inside, we draw a small circle. Let's go back to the top of the wrist and add the edge of the cuff. We're going to curve in, and then back out, in behind the handle. And then from the bottom of the hand, we'll curve the arm coming in and up, in behind the body. Let's go to the inside of the arm, curve the sleeve going up and then out on both sides. And we'll thicken that up, stepping out, just following that same curve. And then finally, we'll add a patch on the outside of the arm, stepping down, down and out towards the wrist on both sides. And that's pretty much it. There's Challenger Cult from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.